What's going on? How's everything, man? How's everything? How you enjoy New York? Man, I love New York. I always love New York, you know. This is maybe my fifth or sixth time here. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. Nice. So I, I, I just love it, man. I, I made some friends from New York a while back in Barbados, my friend Ishmael and some other people. And immediately right after that was the first time I came to New York. So long time coming. And then after that, I just fell in love with the culture, man. So much going on here. Wait, like, where have you stayed in New York? I've stayed in Brooklyn. I stayed in, uh, well, specifically Canarsie. Oh, shit, that's deep. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, good, the huh? real culture. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of Caribbean people on those ends too, so it's pretty comfortable. Um, but no, nah, that's originally. Now I'm actually on like St. Mark's Ave. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice. pretty cool nice. spot. Brooklyn still. So give us, give us a little background, like, you know, like where you're from, where you at now, like where you're located. Okay, well, I'm from Barbados, you know what I mean? There's not a lot of rappers that you've interviewed that said that, if any. <laughs> so I know you weren't expecting that. Uh, people usually listen to Barbados for soca, dance, all that type of stuff. Um, but currently, I'm located in Toronto because they're signed to a production label over there. Yeah. So what's the difference between, so being from Barbados and now residing in Toronto, what's the difference, like music-wise, like what's the difference? Well, musically, Barbados is way more up tempo because of the same um, soca music being like the main genre that we have up there. Like that's fast tempo. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So we have a lot of rhythm, a lot of fast paced rhythm. So Toronto now is way more cold, dreary, a lot of eerie tones. It's like a come down, you know what I mean? Um, and I personally, I'm a very chill person, so I always like to make chill music. And then my, one of my main producers, his name is Mohammed Hanif, he's from Barbados, but he lived in Ottawa for a little bit because he studied over there. So he, his production is literally, a, I wouldn't even say it's placed between the two because it's more Toronto than Barbados, but he brings a little bit of rhythm to that same sound that they have. And he did like, uh, we don't wait for the summer, so it's secure like most of my records so it's, it's like a perfect fit let's so let's talk about so let's talk about the the singles now the big single that you've got going on right now is headshot exactly yeah and i love the single by the way the single is great i think um it's getting uh, it's getting well received it's like what like almost like five thousand hits right now yeah. on soundcloud and that's good for me you know, yeah. coming from a place that only has three hundred thousand people and then a small percentage of this right. it's, it's a serious number and i'm growing it's pretty cool yeah, the song is produced by Devious Mind. He's my producer from Toronto, so that's to Devious. Um, and the record, it just came naturally. I was recording another song on my project. Whoops. I was supposed to tell you I have a project. But I have a, I was recording another song, um, Press Rewind, a more slow, chill song. And he was in the studio, so he went to another room, literally built a beat as I was recording, came back into my room, and just put it on, put it on the table, like, yo, listen to this, played it. Because it was in the middle of my song, I didn't really take it in at first. And then when I left, like the next morning, I was getting ready to go to the studio. I heard this beat, I was like, holy shit. So as I was showering and getting ready, the name of the beat was actually Headshot. So I'm back home, I use this slang, Headshot a lot. Like for us at Headshot, and for us, me, when I say us, I mean my friends, not necessarily Barbados. A Headshot is like, Anytime you're this close to getting something done and then you get cut out right at the end, like, ah, uh, that's a headshot. So if you if you go to holla at a girl, you think you're getting through and then when it's time to like close the deal, it's like, nah, I'm not gonna come back to your place. That's a headshot. You just got shut down. Yeah. You, exactly. If you got shut down last minute, that's a headshot. So um yeah, so he did that and then I'm a big I'm a big Cleveland Cavaliers fan. Yeah, I noticed that on yeah. the record. Yeah. Basketball is my thing, so Naturally, that came to me because the, it, I just thought of it. The beat, the beat also just put me in a real energetic zone, like fourth yeah, quarter. Definitely you know what I mean? Time ticking and shit. So it that's was, another thing I wanted to talk to you about as well because what's so different about you know where you come from is it's like you know Barbados. It's a lot of dancehall. It's a lot of soca. So, what made you want to take the approach of going down? You know what? I'm gonna be a rapper. And the thing is, it's just that you have you have a very infectious voice like, on Thank record. You. It's like, I appreciate it's like it. yo, I've never heard someone sound like this before. Dope. That's the reason why, like, I I aim for that. So yeah, it's, like, it's really I'm cool so to involved hear. in your music is because you know it's like it's very different. 
your approach to it is different. The things that you say on record are very different. You know what I mean? And it's just, it's just fun. It feels good. So I just want to know, like, what's the reason why you decided to be, you know, why did you decide to become a rapper instead of like, you know, dance hall is so correct. You know? Yeah. Well, all of my family, apart from my immediate family, you know, being my mother, my mom, dad, and my brother, they all live in Toronto. So from the time I was a kid, from the time I could speak, maybe before I could even speak, I think I, went, I made a trip there. But I've been to Toronto every year, or almost every year from the time I was young. So all my cousins, aunts, uncles, even a grandmother. And then my brother actually lives over there now. He's married over there now. And he went to school there at Ryerson. So coming up, I was always listening to rap, just from going over there. My cousins, my older cousin Kyle, he used to play rap for me like all the time. Even at home, my brother used to play, like when I was a kid, my brother used to be playing like uh, raucous records artists. So I was, so I would, I would wake up on morning. Yo. I would wake up on morning, yeah, let me hear you. I've done so many interviews with so many artists and I've never heard anybody <laughs> mention raucous records. Yeah, right? That's some real shit. This kid knows what he's talking about. Go ahead. My brother too, Kevin. Shout out to Kevin. Uh, but uh, I would wake up on mornings and hear uh, black on both sides. I would hear Illadel pop like I would be I would be waking up and hearing like water from chocolate. All of them, most that talent, everyone. Erica Badu, yeah, Fairmont was my favorite rapper at a point because of my brother. You know what I mean? Um, so I came up on that, even so the purest hip hop. I actually used to hate self music and all that stuff back then, with the exception of like Outkast. And then after my brother, you know, I became a teenager and then I got my own Light Kings and stuff and I got exposed to a lot of stuff. And then you know what really was a crazy influence for me? Dipset. As it should. <laughs> it's it's legendary. So I went from that super conscious stuff and now I'm on Dipset and I'm like, I'm just in love with this character, this New York vibe, this Harlem stuff. And this, their flavor is just so different, you know? Especially as a Caribbean guy, you know? I'm used to that in your face. Bring your culture to my face. Let and me see it and feel and it. They've had a couple of like Caribbean vibes in their in their music as well. Yeah, sure. Most definitely. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. let me ask you this. So then, when when was the exact moment that you were just like, you know what, music is is what I'm gonna do? Okay, so when I was um, okay, so when I left secondary school, what you guys would call high school, right? Um, my friend, okay, so you had an option of continuing on to something we call sixth form, which is like, you know, you can spend two more years and do certain exams, or you could leave, go to another school, do associate degree. So I chose to leave, do the associate degree. There you go. Shout out to Nana Castro. Shout out to Nana Castro. So all that, I'll bring all that to you. you now, who, have, who do you know dresses in like ponchos and just like That's this? It. Thing, bro? That's it. Like, out here. Hit me up. Give me some ponchos. <laughs> give me some dashikis. All right. All right, thank you, Tef. Yeah, shout out to Rap Pass. There you go. I'm Eli P, Media Manji, Tef Hinkinson. We out. Back in school, we killed them with the athletics. Now these niggas working with machines. They